When the Shaker family had their twins, they decided against immunizations. Immunizations don't seem very natural, so I just wanted to stay away from them at least for a year. But two months after bringing the boys home, baby Silas turned very pale. He looked like he was dying white. It was scary. One of the first questions that was asked of her in the hospital was, did you, have a, did you get the vitamin K shot? The Shakers hadn't. Silas had vitamin K deficiency and suffered multiple brain bleeds. Typically, the blood clotting disorder only affects one in 100,000 babies, but Silas is one of seven cases Vanderbilt doctors have seen in the last year. Had we known some of these things, you know, we could have made smarter decisions. Thankfully, he was one of the cases that we'd seen after we've already had seen a couple of cases. And so we gave vitamin K immediately to this child. Dr. Sedono believes the numbers could surge in the future because of the trend of parents refusing immunizations. Probably somewhere in the range of one in a hundred to one in a thousand kids will develop this. While doctors were able to stop the bleeding in Silas, he has to take medication for seizures and he's in physical therapy to retrain his left side. Only time will tell. You know, will he respond to therapy? Will there be any other residual effects of this? To be safe, Silas's twin, Abel, was also treated and is doing fine. I'm Marty Salt reporting.